Attention crew, this is your Captain Caliban speaking. This is a special supplemental episode of Enterprising Individuals. No matter where you are in the world, I'm sure you're aware of what's going on in America right now. There are protests in over 30 major cities and many smaller cities across the country over the murder of George Floyd by Minneapolis police. And those protests have led to violence and attacks on protesters by police and National Guard members. I'm sure you've seen the footage from Minneapolis and other cities on the news or the internet. So for that reason, this is going to be kind of a short one today. We'll resume normal programming a week from now. But before I go, I do want to say a few words about what's happening. As you might know, if you listen regularly to enterprising individuals or other Just Enough Trope shows, I live in Minneapolis. George Floyd was killed about two miles as the crow flies from where I live at an intersection that I've driven through many times. The protests initially centered on that intersection, 38th and Chicago, and later moved to the headquarters of the MPD 3rd Police Precinct, which is at the intersection of Lake Street and Minnehaha Avenue. And if you watch the news coverage from last week, that's the police station that burned and where a lot of the destruction happened in the surrounding blocks. Protests extended after that west on Lake Street to the 5th Police Precinct Headquarters. Uh, that's about eight blocks south of where I live. And that's when they rolled out the National Guard and the riot police and tear gas and rubber bullets and the Black Hawk helicopters and Predator drones and laser wolves and sentient viruses and clowns riding around on unicycles with seltzer bottles, everything. And, you know, it's it's scary. It's been scary. It's, it's, it's a weird thing. Hearing helicopters and sirens all night for three days straight is not something that I wanted to check off my bucket list, nor is smelling tear gas and smoke from the fires a few blocks away, uh, nor is having to chase white supremacists out of my neighborhood with a bat. <laughs> Actually, to be totally honest... Uh, I don't have a bat. I've lived in the big city for 20 years, and I've never owned a bat. Uh, bats are for baseball, and it's not like I'm regularly playing baseball all the time. But everybody else on my block has a bat, I guess. Uh, I found out last weekend, so that was embarrassing. Uh, I need to get a bat, but it would have been more embarrassing if I'd come out with my plastic lightsaber. This sucks. <laughs> Racism sucks. Being scared sucks. But, you know, this has been a problem for years in the Twin Cities, and when you ask nicely 16,000 times and nothing changes, what do you think is going to happen? The Minneapolis Police Department has had a pretty garbage relationship to the people it's supposedly protecting, and that's happened for quite a long time. I remember when I was a kid, um, there was a police officer that was killed at a pizza place on Franklin Avenue, which is a street that I live on now, and I remember thinking, oh, that's a really scary thing. And, ooh, and it was gang members, too. So, you know, we need these cops in the streets. What nobody ever told me was that the previous day, Metro Transit cops and Minneapolis police beat the crap out of a blind elderly black man for not having correct bus fare. So it was a tragedy that that police officer was shot in retaliation. But maybe you can understand why people feel frustrated, like they don't have a voice like they're being treated like literal animals on the streets where they live and work. Things have to change. And I'm 100% with the people that are out there protesting. Black Lives Matter, Trans Lives Matter, Happy Pride, by the way. Now, saying that, I haven't actually been marching or been out at night. Uh, if you're a regular listener to the show, you may also know that I had coronavirus early in the year, and I've been slowly regrowing lung tissue over the spring. I'm getting ready for summer, so I'm, I'm worried that a huff of tear gas or smoke is going to put me in the hospital. But I have been out during the daytime being part of the cleanup effort and asking people to donate to charities who are supporting the relief. And I'll put links to those charities in the notes of this show. Um, there's the Minnesota Freedom Fund uh, that pays the bail and immigration bond of low-income individuals who can't afford to. Um, there's also We Love Lake Street. It's organized by the Lake Street Council, and they're taking donations to help rebuild Lake Street's small businesses and community organizations. Uh, there's also the good old United Way. You can donate to specific communities when giving to the United Way. So if you want to support the recovery of Lake Street, use the zip code 55406 when you're giving to the United Way. People need help. People who have been systematically discriminated against, people who have lost their jobs or businesses, even before this started. Remember, you know, we've been under uh, a coronavirus quarantine. So please consider contributing if you can. 
and go to a protest or a sit-in where you are, whatever's happening around you, get involved in the community and make your voice heard. I'll be doing the same thing as my lungs grow back uh, because this isn't over. It's a marathon and not a sprint. Stay informed and stay involved. Uh, Well, that's it. Uh, That's about it for this week. Uh, We'll be back next week for a special show. Uh, Last week, we talked about the Voyager episode Coda and Captain Janeway. Next week, we'll be talking about the actress behind Catherine Janeway, Kate Mulgrew, as I read and review her first autobiographical book, Born With Teeth. I'm really looking forward to that one because she has a very fascinating life story. So join us then. In the meantime, stay healthy and stay safe to the listeners that have been checking in with me by email or on Patreon. Thanks so much for your concern. Like I said before, things have been crazy, but I'm all right. And it's mostly calmed down around here now. Um, We're still under curfew, uh, but it starts at 10 p.m. instead of 8 p.m. So yay. Uh, I should plug the Patreon real quick. If you like the show and you want to help it grow, please go to patreon.com forward slash E-I-S-T-P-O-D and become a crew member of the show. We've actually had a couple crew members sign on recently, uh, but I'll wait till next week to give them a proper introduction. Uh, but check out our Patreon and our Patreon content in the meantime if you want to know more. That's it. I'll see you next week. And until then, live long and prosper. Live long and prosper.